So I'd like to focus on now are the indoor-outdoor cables, and we'll go through the 24, the W3, and the W4 individually. And as you can see on here, that each one of these has a little bit different makeup, all right? They're, they're constructed differently. You can see that the W3 and the W4 have a dry block agent in it, where the 24 series does not have any water blocking at all. What you're seeing on here are the Aramid yarns, strength yarns in here, but there is no water blocking in this cable, so when, when it hits water, that, those yarns actually act like a wick. But for the most part, uh, the uh, 24 is a plenum, and the W4 is a plenum, and the W3 is a riser. You can see that the fiber counts vary on those, from, you know, from the 24 being 2 to 72 to the W3 being 2 to 144, and the W4 is, is, is limited with a 2 to 12 count. So again, depending on the customer's application, you're going to need to recommend the right cable for that application. As you can see on here, I made that little note in the bottom that these cables are not recommended for lashed aerial applications. The Series 24 is a plenum rated cable, as I stated before. It's tight buffered, and it helps eliminate having to purchase two different cables. You can go indoor and outdoor with it. It's, it's great for pathways outside the building, but it has limitations on that. So always ask the application when you have a customer when, you use, when you're quoting Series 24 cable. It's not designed for prolonged submersion in water. And that, that comment where it's in red says, therefore, it is not recommended for direct buried service, nor within buried conduit, which can flood. That's actually on the spec sheet, and that is very important. And the, the reason why, and I'll, I'll show you this campus environment that I have here. So here's how this route works going to the football field house. It comes from the comm room, goes through the building, and then it comes out and it hits a handhole right here. Then it crosses the road. You can actually see these handholes here. There's one there, and then there's one here. Okay, and then it goes into the building. Where these handholes are, they're flush mount little vaults, probably about the size of two of these squares on the floor with a lid that comes off and it's flush mount. Now, being that they're out on the lawn, when it rains, they can fill with water, and when the sprinklers go on, they can fill with water. So what took place at this location is, is they decided to use Series 24 cable here, which, as I noted earlier, is not designed to be sitting in water. Okay. So this is an actual photo right here of inside the handhole with the conduit full of water. Okay. This is from that location. That was the center handhole. This is actually another location uh, that I took a picture of, and you can see how tall these conduits are in here, but yet they're still full of water. So whenever you're quoting this product, you really do need to ask what the application is going to be, because if it's going to be sitting in water in any conduit under the ground, you, you would want to recommend a W3 if they need a riser and a W4 if they need a plenum. Okay. Now here's a good you know, application of how, you know, how it could be ran. And for any one of the three cables, this is a good application. This is at Turner Field, and you can see in here that there's a host of, you know, different type of cables. And you've got fiber in here, you've got some Cat5, Cat6 in here, some other type of uh, fiber in here. You've got some outside plant type cables or indoor-outdoor cables. So there's a whole host of things in here going on, and that's a good application for any one of these three indoor-outdoor cables. Now, if it rained, for example, and it hit the, the Series 24 cable, it's going to dry rather quickly. It's not going to be submerged. It's not going to be in constant water. It's okay for this type of application where if, if rain hit it, and it would dry out pretty quickly. Okay, so that, that would be a good application for it as well. Now, the W3, again, it's a tight buffer, riser rated cable, and, and these are all available in single mode or multi mode. Okay. And again, it eliminates the need to purchase separate cables for outside plant, indoor, and outdoor applications. Th these do incorporate the latest dry water, dry blocking technology to stop the water from penetrating in. And again, long periods of direct uh, sunlight exposure will not damage these cables. So again, these can be placed outside, and but not not lashed up, but just like I showed you on the previous slide. You know, where it could be outside, like in a, under a beam or somewhere else in that type of uh, 
installation. The W4, real similar, uh, full water blocking using SAP technology. And as you can see in here too, that the, the plastic uh, jacket on this particular cable is resistant to mechanical abrasion, chemicals, oil, and sunlight. This is a very, very good cable. Uh, it's a little more costly than the other two, but this is kind of the cream of the crop when it comes to that type of cable, and this is a plenum rated cable. 